I got brides in Atlanta, she's a Dolly in the family, credit cards in the scams, hitting the licks in the van. Hey, what's up? It's Tech Savvy here. Um, I figured I would show you guys how to install an Android emulator so you can play uh, Android games on your computer if you don't have one or if you just want to play on a much larger screen, more powerful machine. <clears throat> um, this one, there are a bunch of them obviously. Um, well, an emulator it simulates the Android system, but it literally is just like it. The one uh, I'm going to show you guys is called Nox App Player. You can go to bignox.com. I will leave the link into the link in the description. Get my camera out of the way. Um, I do have a Mac version. I don't own, have, or use the Mac, so don't know about that, but obviously they support it, so if you have a Mac, shoot for it. Um, Google Drive, you can do that. Is, you can do that if you, uh, you want to stay in your Google Drive instead of you having to upload it if you decide to later on. I just do the regular download. It takes about 30 seconds or so depending on it. I already have it um, installed. And literally it's just going to um, come up saying that, like the license agreement is already checked. You just click install. But it's going to bring you here. I did already sign in with my Google, Google account to make it a little bit faster. But as you can see, we are still inside Wind, um, the Windows operating system. And as you can see. And it looks, um, you can't call, use the, um, well, no, I don't even have it on here, but the native messenger. I'm sure you can use like Facebook Messenger stuff like that, but I mean, it looks and feels looks and feels identical to it. You know, you open your settings. This is exactly or depending. You know, if you had this version, which is a uh, Android KitKat, and it also comes pre-rooted, which is pretty sweet. This is exactly what your settings would look like. Let me show you that it's pre-rooted right here. It's just uh, the super user, the SU, which is, comes from Linux. That is the equivalent to the administrator in Windows. You have full privileges. So you just pretty cool stuff with that. About tablet. So I think you can actually make it think it's a different um, computer, uh, phone, this, that, but. To show you guys, I'll do a little Easter egg trick. Just to show you, Android Fours Kit Kat. And if you guys didn't know, and all Androids, if you tap your Android version a bunch of times, there's a little secret. Uh, it's just Easter egg. This one you can only move them around. It's kind of dumb. On Marshmallow and Android 6, you can, uh, and Lollipop, I believe. They redid the Flappy Birds game into, uh, it. it's pretty cool. But you can add your account. I already have my Google account added. Get my spam account on there so I can just do whatever I want. Get your sidebar here just like you would on, uh, well, this lower portion just as you would on your Android device, you get your home button, you know, all your tabs, windows you have open, etc. Back button. You got extra features in here. You can actually uh, record, screen record while you're doing this. It's pretty sweet. Um, you start Android, decrease sound, increase add APK file. Um, APK is just the, it's an Android app 
or game. So it's just the file name. So, so if it's modded or hacked or something, you can put download an APK file, which would be the modded or hacked one because Google is not going to allow that. And then you can drop it in here. So you go home. And click right here and get to Google Play. And as you can see, I mean, there's games that, that you know, I, if you guys watched, you know, I did, did a little bit of a playthrough, just showing it off. Futurama Worlds of Tomorrow. Final Fantasy, I believe, just came out. So, I mean, they got a lot, and there's way more than this. This is just their uh, stupid little thing. I don't know why it's not. It's probably already installed and mess with stuff. Oh, there's probably some updates. Um, Art of Conquest, that was a, all the, everything on here is already in, in pre installed except a ball pull. I did that. This is just a little dock menu. I just wanted to install this to show you guys. You can actually, uh, you know, play games. The simulator is one of the emulators. <coughs> made uh, more to support and play Android games. Um, so if I didn't say it already, sorry, um, up here the cog little icon, upper right, it's the system settings, you can click on that. Under advanced, you can actually, uh, it default is it low and it one, um, 1000 megabytes, so one gig of RAM. My BIOS, I don't have it, says please enable BT to use more than one CPU. So that'd be to, you know, if you had a quad core, four core CPU to use two or three, whatever, you have to enable BT is a, it's a feature of processors for virtualization. And but any changes to that, you didn't have to restart the emulator, which is no big deal. But you still want to do it while you're playing a game. Uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to play, so I'll show you guys. I'm using my keyboard as a touchpad built in, so I'm not using a touch screen or anything. As you see, you know, it's, it's moving quite well. Okay. Oh, scratch! As you can see, you can play it fully. You know this game and any other game that it supports, and which is a lot apps, all that stuff. Um, and just you know, since you do tell your Google account too, you know, sync. It syncs all your stuff to like your app data if you want to go into Google Store and find your apps, um, your app library. Your Google Play Games, your contacts, and if you decide to do that, pictures, the gallery, etc. So it's a nifty little thing. Um, also, up here, you might see the icons. As you see, pull this down. Yeah, pre register got to like a week ago, days ago, but it's just like uh, Android. Oh, obviously, it's exactly, but click this to get to the uh, menu. Right now, it's uh, <clears throat> Wi Fi wired location, all that stuff. I don't know why location is on. Um, but yeah, again. And you can go to like frequent ask questions and stuff up here if you have any things about it, whatever. But so I show you guys this and you know give some people more options to try out some Android games that may not have an Android device but they have a computer and this can help them. It is completely free. So just thought I'd share the knowledge. Um, again. And if you have a, no matter right off the bat, if you have like a good computer, come in here and automatically change the system settings. 
I have, I'm running an i5 with, this is odd, but 10 gigs of RAM, because I didn't have another 4 gig, or, yeah, 4 gig to make it 12. So, I only have it in 2 gigs, and that game doesn't take much to run, but, you know, you can make it as much as you want. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you didn't, you know what to do. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section comments section below. And I may do another one of these and show off a different emulator. Um, but we'll see. I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and thank you very much. See you guys later. It be hard to watch a cat when the van keep dropping. Got the big Ford on, I'm assuming pants keep.